In this video, I will show you how to integrate ClickSense visualizations into your website. This is very easy and does not require any coding or installation on your website. Before building the integration, your application has to be done, since you can reuse every chart and dashboard that you create. The integration is an iframe working on a user interface level, so your website will get ClickSense objects directly from the ClickSense server. This enables the sheets and visualizations to be interactive, just like a ClickSense dashboard. If we embed a few charts, they will interact with each other. Single integration is implemented with the DevHub, which is easy to use via a graphical environment and combines a few tools into a single interface. You can access DevHub from the menu in ClickSense or by typing localhost colon 4848 forward slash dev dash hub in the URL on your browser. This only works if you are using ClickSense desktop. When using the server, you have to write your server address followed by forward slash dev dash hub. No DevHub installation is needed. It is included in the standard ClickSense installation package and is already installed in your ClickSense environment. To start with single integration, simply navigate to DevHub and select the first option, Single Integration. This tool allows you to access applications already available in your ClickSense environment. First, I have to select one application from the drop-down menu. A list of sheets and charts in this application appears in the left-hand menu. Now DevHub allows me to access it all. I have to double-click or drag-and-drop the objects, and a unique URL and iframe is generated, which return a complete HTML page that contains the ClickSense visualizations. I can basically copy and paste this URL or iframe into my website. This makes integration very easy. Just select the desired objects and copy and paste the URL or iframe path. Here I have a sample portal and embedded ClickSense sheets and charts. Let's take a look at the source code of this page. As you can see, there are iframes copied from the DevHub. This portal places the iframes into the previously created page, and I link the iframes with the menu items so I can navigate throughout the portal and see the different ClickSense objects. I can embed objects, or I can embed a single chart. DevHub allows me to choose from a wide range of options that define the behavior of my embedded objects. Options are available in the panel on the right side and include Disable Interaction. This turns off selections and the user will not be able to make selections on charts or tables or do any analysis. If there are filters on the page, the user will not be able to use these. This option is selected by default. The second option is Disable Animation, which turns off any animations on the sheet. In the Language section, I can set the language on embedded objects. This is very useful if I have to embed objects in a multi-language website. In the Selections panel, the first option, Show Selection Bar, turns on the Selections Bar on the HTML page, so the user will get the same experience as in ClickSense. The Set Clear Selections option clears all selections made in the application when the click object is rendered so your sheet will be displayed without any selections. Bookmarks allow for already developed bookmarks in the application to be applied to the embedded objects to simplify selections. And the last option allows you to set selections based on the fields and their values. If you set this up, your chart and sheet will be displayed with this applied. In this example, we filter this sheet, and as you can see, the dashboard is now filtered with only this selection. Another important option is the View option. 
By clicking this, the objects I am going to embed will open in a new browser window. If I select an option with just this class, the Dev Hub updated URL and iframe URL will append the proper parameters to this. If I disable interaction, the No Interaction parameter will be added to the URL, and if I change the default language, the Lang parameter will be added to the URL. Everything is configurable and does not require coding. Here we can see the result of our selections. We have no interaction and a language parameter. I can use this technique in my web page to change the behavior of embedded objects or to allow the users to do some analysis. Here is an example of applying a bookmark or field selections. If I select a bookmark from the menu, my web page changes the URL, appends a bookmark parameter, and adds a bookmark to the URL. As you can see, I also made some selections. For filters, it is very similar. For example, on this chart, I can select cases with different priorities by applying a filter. Another important item is the execution order for rendering the HTML page containing the objects. Click's existing selections are executed in the following way. First, Click renders the existing selections. The second execution are the bookmarks if any are chosen. And the last one are the selections in a field. So always plan your selections in the proper sequence in order to avoid conflicts. You can use iframe options to control the size of embedded objects. Each iframe has width and height options. DevHub does not use them, so remember to set proper frame size after you copy it to your web page code. Here I have applied width and height to these objects. It is important to be aware of the limitations of this technique. One of the most important limitations to be aware of is that the iframe is not always allowed by the portal administrator, so always make sure that the iframe is not blocked. Another limitation is the responsive design. By default, click sheets are responsive, so on a small screen all charts are smaller and organized to help mobile users navigate in the sheet. If I try to make this screen smaller, you can see how it gets reorganized. But if we embed the same dashboard in our iframe, the dashboard will not be as responsive as it is from ClickSense. All of the objects will be smaller, but never reorganized. To support this, you have to put each chart in a separate div, as you can see in my example. On the home page, I defined four divs and put one chart into each div, so now my page is responsive and much easier to navigate for mobile users. Here you can see the HTML code. I created four iframes, put each iframe in separate divs, and I also specified the behavior on a smaller screen. In this example, I utilized Bootstrap to have a fully responsive page. You can get more information on single integration from the Click Online Help for Developers. Just go to help.click.com and select ClickSense Developers. Select Embed and Single Integration. Here you have a detailed description of all the possibilities and parameters of a single integration. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.